हेलो व्यूवर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस येट अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ लेग्रांजेज मीन वैल्यू थियोरम राइट सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन इम्पॉर्टेंट इन इक्वालिटी विच कैन बी प्रूव्ड वेरी सिंपली यूजिंग लेग्रांजेज मीन वैल्यू थियोरम राइट सो लेट अस स्टार्ट सो हियर वी हैव टू प्रूव दिस इन इक्वालिटी Uh, that is e raised to x is uh, always greater than x plus 1 uh, for all x greater than 0 right so for all positive values of x uh, which are greater than 0 uh, we have this inequality that is e raised to x is greater than x plus 1 right so here uh, we'll apply lagrange's mean value theorem uh, to prove this inequality right so before uh, proving this inequality let us quickly uh, uh, take the statement of lagrange's mean value theorem so now we know uh, from differential calculus that uh, uh, if we have a function say y is equal to f of x defined in some domain d and if we take an interval uh, a comma b and if this function y is equal to f of x if it uh, Uh, satisfies uh, two conditions right so the first one is that uh, f of x is a continuous function in this interval that is a comma b right so here we have the closed interval and if f of x is derivable or differentiable in the interval open interval a comma b then lagrange's mean value theorem says that if this function Uh, satisfies these two conditions in this interval uh, then there must exist a point c say x is equal to c where c uh, belongs to this interval that is a comma b or we can write uh, c greater than a but less than b right so then uh, we uh, must have a point c belonging to this interval open interval a comma b such that f prime of c right f prime of c is the derivative of f of x at x is equal to c and f prime of c must be equal to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a right so this is the statement of lagrange's mean value theorem and this theorem is of prime importance uh, in proving Uh, important inequalities right so here uh, we'll uh, now prove this inequality uh, using uh, the lagrange's mean value theorem right so now here what we have to do uh, we uh, first define an appropriate function that is y is equal to f of x right so let us define a function say y is equal to f of x Uh, which is e raised to x right and here uh, we'll have a uh, interval uh, which is uh, 0 comma x where x is greater than 0 right so this is our function uh, to which we'll first see whether the conditions of uh, lagrange's mean value theorem are satisfied or not right so here uh, this is the exponential function and uh, we know that uh, the exponential function is uh, continuous so uh, e raised to x is uh, a continuous function and in the interval uh, that is 0 comma x right and uh, moreover here the derivative of uh, e raised to x is the the function itself so f prime of x is equal to uh, d by dx of e raised to x which is e raised to x and uh, obviously this function f of x is uh, uh, differentiable or derivable in the interval uh, 0 comma x right so this function f of x is uh, continuous and differentiable right so there must exist some point say x is equal to c Uh, belonging to this interval a comma b where uh, here we have the interval uh, 0 comma x right so we have a is equal to 0 and b is equal to x right and x is greater than uh, 0 right 
right so here uh, we must have a point c which uh, lies between 0 and uh, x uh, such that f prime of uh, c must be equal to f of b b is x so we have f of x minus f of 0 because f of a is f of 0 and b minus a is simply x minus 0 right so now f prime of c uh, is equal to e raised to c right because f prime of x is e raised to x and if we replace x by c uh, we'll get e raised to c right and f of x is e raised to x and uh, then uh, we have here minus f of 0 so f of 0 is e raised to uh, 0 right and here we have uh, x right so now uh, here we can write uh, e raised to c is equal to e raised to x and e raised to uh, 0 is uh, obviously equal to 1 so here we have 1 and here we have x right okay so now uh, we'll use this expression uh, to prove this inequality right so now what we will do see uh, here e raised to c is always uh, uh, greater than 1 right so for all values of c e raised to c must be greater than 1 because we know that e raised to c is uh, given by the uh, infinite series that is 1 plus c over factorial 1 then we have c square over factorial uh, 2 and so on right so obviously e raised to c is greater than 1 right so here uh, e raised to c is uh, equal to e raised to x minus 1 over x so here we'll write e raised to x minus 1 over x uh, must be greater than 1 right so now uh, here we see that we have an equality of this form that is uh, uh, say a over b is greater than 1 right and see here the denominator is x and uh, here we are taking uh, x as greater than 0 right so we can safely uh, multiply both sides of this inequality uh, by x right so we can easily get rid of this x so now we have e raised to x minus 1 is greater than uh, x right now we can take this negative sign to this side so we can have e raised to x is greater than uh, x plus 1 uh, which is our desired uh, inequality right and here x is greater than 0 right so this is how uh, by making use of the uh, famous Lagrange's uh, mean value theorem uh, we can uh, derive uh, these type of uh, important inequalities right